Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally reviewing the brand new Hermes blushes and brushes. There was a slight delay with my Saks order, but finally everything has arrived. So I purchased three out of eight shades of the blush. I also picked up both the full size and the travel size brushes. So today we will unbox everything. I'll do a little demonstration so I can finish my makeup look for the day. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to swatch everything and we'll do some comparisons. I know for me personally, this has been the one product I have been most excited about lately. I've resisted the urge to watch anybody else's reviews. I never like to watch reviews on products that I plan to review because I don't want to be swayed in any direction. But I have received some mixed feedback both in comments and just looking at the product page and seeing not all five star reviews. So I'm very interested to finally get to play around with these today. Let's talk about the price because of course in Hermes blush we all knew it was going to be expensive and depending on which retailer you go with the price may vary a little bit but this I found interesting. Right before I sat down to film I just wanted to double check the availability. I remember the lipstick sold out so quickly when they first launched. They are still available if you want to get your hands on these. But when I first placed an order on the Selfridges website, they were listed at $70. I pulled up my Instagram story because I had to double check. I thought it was going crazy. Sure enough, it says Rose Blusher, $70 USD. But now when I recently checked the Selfridges website, it's coming up as $75. I don't know what happened there when they made the switch. So now you can pick them up at Selfridges for 75 or at Saks, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom. It looks like they're 77 here in the States. The full size blush brush retails for $100. The mini Kabuki brush is 51. And then Hermes also came out with a beautiful pouch to hold your blush and brush. But someone said it was maybe three, $4,000. So I went ahead and I skipped the pouch. I have number 19 Rose Apricot. 28 rose plume and 32 rose pomade and it's the same exterior packaging we saw on the lipsticks it's kind of this natural recycled fiber cardboard packaging it's called the rose hermes silky blush powder on the back it says silky powder fresh and vibrant color and it also lets you know that it is in fact refillable i didn't realize that the refills were going to be available so soon so i went ahead and i just picked up three shades Again, like the lipsticks, when you remove the outer packaging, you have this really classic orange Hermes box. It's very cute. I will probably hold on to at least one of these just to store knickknacks in for organization. I think that's really pretty. And then you remove the slip cover and there is the blush. I unboxed these last night so I could take some pictures and get some video while they were still fresh. And my first impression was that it did feel nice but it was kind of light. And in fact, when I hold this and the lipstick, I almost think the lipstick feels a bit heavier than the blush. So it's definitely plastic packaging. Is it pretty? Yes. It's not as weighted and high quality feeling as I thought it would be, but I do like the brushed gold on the back. The little detail right here also matches the top of the lipsticks. I like the consistency with their packaging. It looks very clean, very chic and sophisticated. Hermes is more understated with their design. It's not really flashy or gaudy, but it is still very elevated and it looks very elegant in my opinion. I love the white and gold. I think that's just a really beautiful combination always. Open up the blush comes with a little plastic protector inside. The blush pan is a little bit smaller than you might expect based on the exterior compact. And then you also have the little mirror inside and it's kind of off center, another design aspect there. On the back it says six grams worth of product and you can see the little hole where you would stick a pin to replace your refill. Unfortunately, I read some reviews that say that the pan is actually glued in as well, so it's not as easy to replace your refill. I'm obviously not going to demonstrate with this one. I don't want to ruin my compact just for show, but I don't know if it's magnetic and glued or if you would need to add a touch of glue with the new refill. It seems sort of strange that they wouldn't just use a really strong magnet. That's what most brands do. It works just fine. I've never had a compact accidentally fall out when it was secured by the magnet. So the glue was definitely unnecessary. The only explanation I can come up with is that it was just done by mistake. I would imagine that if they were coming out with refills, they would have 
tried to refill it themselves and they would have seen that the glue didn't make sense. So must have been a production error maybe or they just intended it to be that way and it's not very convenient. Refills are supposed to be convenient, not very convenient if you're struggling with glue and potentially ruining your compact anyhow in the process. I do like the textured design and the logo embossed directly on the powder. I think that looks very pretty, a nice little detail, nice luxurious touch. And this first shade is number 19, Rose Apricot. Next is number 28, Rose Plume. The third shade is number 32, Rose Pomette. Next, let's unbox these brushes, starting with the Rose Hermes blush brush. This is the full size. I was trying to look to see if it was synthetic or natural. This brush feels like it could be natural hairs, although they've come such a long way with synthetic, I'm not sure. But it is very pretty. I love the handle. Artisanal lacquered wood brush. So you want to be very careful whenever you're cleaning this. Do not let this sit in water. It will warp. The paint will chip. It will be destroyed after one wash if you're not really careful. You can't get this damp at all. I've made that mistake with much cheaper brushes, so I'm going to play it very safe with my new Hermes brush. I love how soft it is. I really like the shape of this blush brush, and I love the handle. The white and the pink with the black Hermes, it's just beautiful design. And now we have the little travel blush brush. I wanted to get them both so I could compare them. Now this is very cute. It's nice and short, compact. It's meant for travel. I wish it came in some sort of little protective case. When I unboxed it the first time, it was wrapped in tissue, but not something that you would hold on to. Because it is meant for travel, I'm probably not going to hold on to this box, but I wish there was some sort of, just a little bag, maybe something like this from the lipsticks. Actually, I probably could just use this from the lipsticks, <laughs> so I'm not going to complain anymore. But something like this should come with the brush. That way you have some way to protect it when you're traveling. If you're going to use it, you're just going to want to throw this in a bag and go. I would be very protective of a $50 brush. Other than that, I think the brush itself is really nice. This brush feels like butter on the skin. I actually prefer the feel of this brush to this brush. It just feels so nice. The density is perfection. I've been wearing a lot of peach blush lately. I kind of feel like I know what this is going to look like. I'll dust a little bit on my nose just so we can see all three. But since I only have two cheeks today, I'm really going to be testing the Rose Pomette and the Rose Plume. So this is more of a pale pink. This is a deeper shade of pink. That way we can see. This is number 28, Rose Plume, the lighter shade of the two. I'm going to apply that with our full-size blush brush. Pretty. It's beautiful, it's very light. And I didn't apply any bronzer today, so the only thing I have on my face is foundation, concealer, and then I set with powder, nothing else. I think it's really pretty. have a light fragrance. I remember reading that they were going to be scented. It's not too much, but definitely has a scent. I love this color. Perfect for spring. I was able to build it up quite nicely and I could keep going. I'm trying to be really light-handed, but I guess might as well take it up a notch just to show you. This is probably as dark as it gets. It's a lot of blush. <laughs> there are a lot of lights on me right now. I don't know how it's going to look in the viewfinder, but it's a lot. They're flat and matte. There's no luminosity to them. The color looks great. 
On my right side, I'm going in with Rose Palmette and the little travel brush. And this is the deeper shade. This also looks really pretty. They had a really nice range, I thought. All of the shades looked really nice. Now, because this feels more dense and synthetic, I'm going to be very light-handed. Kind of tapping it in there. This brush is definitely my favorite of the two. I think it blends better, it feels better. It's half the price, half the size, <laughs> but it's just really nice. And it still feels luxurious. I thought this was going to go on so much darker, but you can be light-handed with it and then just build it up. I have a lot of blush on at the moment, but I really just want you to be able to see the color. The blend is so much better on this side. The color looks so similar. I don't know why, because this is so much darker in the pan, but this side actually still looks darker. That might be the brush because it's just not really blended as well. I don't think it's the blush. I really do think it's the application, the applicator. This does such a better job blending than the other brush, so this eye looks a lot softer. Both shades are really pretty. Not a huge difference on the face in the shade, to be honest. Now, I'm gonna try to blend this out a bit better. I prefer this side. I prefer this brush and I actually just prefer the color. This one is really baby pink. It's maybe a little bit too bold, but this I think looks really soft and very nice. Now, just for fun, I'm going to take this apricot shade and I'll dust a little bit of that on my nose. It's really pretty. That's going to be so nice on the cheek. A lot more pigmented than I expected, but this brush blends so nicely. I think it's an easy fix. Perfect. This is my face with just blush before I apply bronzer. I quickly added just a little Gucci bronzer around my temples, hairline, and my chin. I didn't want to add any more color to the cheeks because I certainly don't need it. And then I dusted just a little Dior highlighter to the tops of my cheeks. So this is the complete makeup look. I zoomed you back out and this is the complete look for the day. And overall my first impression is that I really like the blushes. I don't have any complaints to speak of. The colors that I applied to the cheek are both really beautiful, even a little bit on the nose. I think it looked really cute, and I can just tell it's going to be really pretty on the cheek as well. The color looks smooth. They feel really silky and soft. Easy to blend. No complaints. I'm happy with the shades I chose. I'm happy with the application. My favorite brush of the two is this little one. I think this is amazing for applying not even just blush. I could see myself using this for powder, for underneath the eyes, for bronzer, just about anything. It didn't disturb my makeup underneath and it feels amazing and you can just tell it's blending the product effortlessly. So I love this. I would say it is worth the $50. If you don't have a ton of brushes already, this one is really nice. This I could have absolutely skipped. I didn't need this brush. I really only wanted to pick it up because I did want to compare the two brushes and I just thought it was really pretty and it says Hermes. Ridiculous, I know. Full disclosure, my husband was so sweet. He did purchase two of these brushes and one of the blushes for me. So it, it feels like a little bit of a gift. Had I spent my own money, 
maybe I would feel differently about it, but as a gift, I think it is absolutely beautiful. And it is something that you can hold on to, you know, as long as you take care of the brushes, they are going to last. I'm pleased with the quality, the density, the shape, everything about the brushes is really nice. If I had to choose a favorite blush between the three, I think it's 32 Rose Pomade, which is the deeper shade. I didn't think it was going to be this one, but I think it is so beautiful. This is the blush I have over on this side. It's so hard to differentiate between the two shades on the cheek, but I just think this side looks a little bit softer. Could have been the brush, I'm not sure, but I just think it is really beautiful. It's almost a strawberry pink with a hint of warmth. It definitely has a warmer undertone, so I think it's so pretty for spring, summer. Just a beautiful shade. Now that I've tested them out, I do feel like I could have probably just picked up one I love all of the shades, I have no regrets, but are they so, so, so special that I wanna collect them all? Not really, because I almost wish I had realized that the refills were available and then I could have picked up probably a couple of the refills, even with the packaging snafu. Hopefully they will figure that out soon. This component isn't that impressive. I would say that's probably my one complaint about the blush. Price aside, we all know luxury is expensive. You can absolutely always buy a less expensive version of a luxury product. Without talking about the price, I would say this is a little bit disappointing. It just doesn't really feel weighted and it doesn't really feel as high quality as some of the other compacts I own. You would think because it's refillable, they would make sure the compact was really heavy, substantial, felt like it could you know withstand quite a bit and this just doesn't it feels kind of like a normal compact doesn't feel any worse than say a chanel blush compact but it doesn't feel better chanel blushes i want to say they're still around 45 dollars versus 77 it's quite a price hike for the hermes i wish there was a little bit more you know when i compare this with even the Gucci Compact, which is heavier, comes with the little space on the bottom for the brush. You know, there are a lot of, uh, this one comes with the sponge. The powders come with the little sponge, but something like this is a bit more substantial. I think this is more impressive for less money. And even this is a refillable compact, but it's huge and it feels very heavy. This feels like I could chuck it across the room and I could knock somebody out. This I'm afraid to drop on the floor because I think it could break. <laughs> it just doesn't feel quite as strong and hefty as I would like it to be. Only complaint, the design is beautiful. The shades inside, the actual product, the blush I think looks really nice. Now I'm going to do some swatches and comparisons. I wanna swatch these three Hermes blushes side by side so you can see what they look like compared to one another. And then I went through my drawers and I pulled out a couple different brands. I tried to find close shade matches just so we can see the difference. So this is 32 Rose Pomade. They feel so smooth. Pretty nice color payoff there. Let's see, I'm going to swatch this one here. I built it up a bit, but that's not bad for a blush. Usually face powders are meant to be lighter, so they don't swatch like eyeshadows. But that's pretty good. It feels nice and soft. They are definitely silky to the touch. And then I'm going to compare that with 28 Rose Plume. This is the lighter of the two pinks I picked up. How funny, they swatch completely different and yet on the cheek, I think they look the same. This is on this side, this is on this side. Tell me what happened. On the face, this looked so much darker. I honestly think it just comes down to the brush. The swatches are so different. And then the last shade, number 19, Rose Apricot. It's a bit lighter as well. 
very pretty. On the face, they looked pretty matte, but now that I've swatched them on my arm, they do look like they have maybe a little luminosity. The finish doesn't look pure matte. The first comparison I have is Quintessence from Chanel. It looks very similar to number 32, Rose Pomette, at least in the pan, so I'm gonna swatch it and see. Six grams of product in the Hermes, five grams of product in the Chanel. Of course, the Chanel is 45 versus 77. So the Chanel is definitely the better buy, but let's see what this swatch looks like. And this is the old formula of the blushes. I know they recently changed. I have not tried any of the new blushes yet. So this is Rose Pomet, the Hermes. I'm gonna swatch Quintessence up here. They are close on the arm. I would say Quintessence is a little bit more neutral. It almost appears to be more blue-based when compared to the Rose Pomet because that one has a warmer undertone. They're close. They're different enough. If you wanted to get them both, you could. Next, I picked out Rose Bronze to compare to the Rose Plume. I thought these two looked sort of similar as well. This is Rose Bronze compared to the Rose Plume. Rose Plume is more of a soft, kind of Barbie pink. It's very pretty. I thought maybe my Laura Mercier Peach Blush would be similar to the Rose Apricot, but actually this is much softer and peachier. It's more neutral, whereas the Laura Mercier Peach is actually more pink, but I just kind of want to swatch to compare. I love this blush so much. Yep, very different. The Laura Mercier Peach is more of a vibrant coral compared to the Rose Apricot, which is much softer. And not really rosy at all. This one has more pink, this one doesn't. Then I also pulled out a Tom Ford, which has eight grams of product, two grams more than the Hermes. This is O2 Love Lust. I thought maybe this would be close to the Rose apricot. So we're going to swatch this one as well. I think they're changing the Tom Ford blushes. I know they were going away for a while. That's pretty close. Loveless has far more shimmer to it, but the shade is nearly identical. The Tom Ford is less expensive. You get more product. Hopefully they aren't doing away with that shade. Those two are pretty darn close. When I look at all of these blushes, I think my favorites are Peach, Rose Pomet, and I really do like Rose Plume and, Plume, and I really like Love Lust. I like that hint of luminosity in there. This is obviously not all of the blushes from my collection, but just so you can kind of get an idea, I think they swatch very similar to the other brands. They're just as pigmented, just as silky and beautiful. It truly is going to be up to you to decide, is there a shade you love that you can't necessarily get from another brand? Do you like the packaging? Are you a fan of the Hermes aesthetic? And are you willing to shell out the price? If you don't mind the price, you love the shades, and you love the packaging, I think you will be so happy with these blushes. That completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you found this information helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. I want to hear from you guys. Which shade is your favorite? Do you have any of these blushes? Are you interested? Are you skipping them all together? Drop me a comment. We will keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face will be down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.